Welcome back to The Morning Blend. You may have heard that in real estate right now, it's a seller's market. Home sales were up 11% in Milwaukee area last month, which is great. But what if you're ready to move, but no one seems to want to buy your house? Stop making cabbage in it. That's, a <laughs> That's bad right, no more egg rolls. Rachel, <laughs> yeah, no more of those egg rolls, Molly. Rachel Schwab is back, and she's here with the five reasons that your home may not be selling. Good to see you, Rachel. Nice to see you guys, too. <laughs> yeah. We kid, there are other reasons it's not selling. You're yeah, screwing yeah. up in other ways. <laughs> yeah, so. there's plenty of other reasons why I don't we'll work. go through them but I think this is a great topic and I love yeah. the fact that you always give so many so much good information to people who are looking to buy or sell so for right now if you're looking to sell um, it, it's a seller's market and if you're not it's not working for you number one might be that you priced it way too high right and number I made that reason. that is the number one yes. reason yeah. your house is not selling is that just sentimental like you thought it's, it was so wonderful it is. right Thank you know you brought lead. my babies home to this house <laughs> and we raised the kids or oh, we just redid the master bath and we love it so much and you have this this value that emotional. you give it yeah an emotional value but you need to start thinking about um, what the real market value is and what the comparables are and that's like working with a good real estate agent will help you yeah and trust them when mm -hmm. they give you a price house and I think often if people sell very quickly they the first thought they have is I should have put a higher price yeah, tag on yeah, my house yeah. not realizing that it was probably right. expertly priced right and you know we've talked about that it's the seller's market if you price it right you might be surprised the bidding war that you end oh, up yeah. with. Oh yeah, my friend just, um, mm -hmm. they, they sold their house, the open house first day, mm -hmm. and they had five offers all over asking price. Yeah. Five offers, Yeah, which huh. is incredible. Do right. people give over asking price because they realize there's gonna be they other do. offers? Yes, they do. Okay. Well, that, and, and realtors so that's love what you that. want, right? They, they build up all this buzz now, yeah. I feel like before they, the house officially yes. goes on the market, and a lot of that is to create that urgency, mm -hmm. like we gotta Anxious. put in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, the house needs work. Yes, absolutely. You know, you need to make sure you take care of the little things, leaky faucets, you know, um, ugly, old, worn out carpet, paint the house, things like that. And yeah, you're probably not going to get to enjoy them because you want to move. Um, but they're little things that make a big difference um, mm -hmm. in the house and how it shows. And if you're not willing to do those things, I go back to point one. Yeah. Price accordingly. Yeah, there right. You go. Fair, because yep. people are going to have to build mm -hmm. that into their own budget. Right. This one I think is interesting because I think so much of it these days is about the photos or oh, the aerial yeah. videos mm -hmm. or the walkthrough tours or whatever. And I feel like if you're not tech savvy or if you don't know how to take good photos, that could really harm you. Well, your realtor should be taking those photos, but that's one of the things that you want to make sure your realtor knows what they're doing. They have someone who's really good at taking the photos. Um, there are some horrific photos out there. I mean, <laughs> comical. Yeah, like but that? like this, okay, there's a couple. And as a side note, if you ever like, ah, I've got a few minutes, what I want to do on the internet, just Google bad real estate photos. See? Did That's the last funny. one have a cat in it? Like, yeah, well, you should have had the litter box oh, in there as well then. <laughs> these are tame. These pictures are really tame. There are, that's a dog's head. Oh, and you a can, dog's head. I but see. there's like weird lighting. <laughs> um, Wait, they, in the next picture, in the kitchen, I mean, so people are going to go, well, it's not that bad. And that's that's true. I mean, it's, it's, it's not terrible, tidy. but like, well, take that stuff off the fridge. the fridge. And like, does the baby <laughs> gate need to be there? Is that dog dishes on the floor? You know, like, right. those are things that, okay, yeah, this is what your house might really look like, but you're trying to get people to go like, oh, I, I want to come see, see that place. This is not reality photo <laughs> Yeah, we don't this want reality. Is, we definitely is, don't. You want it look perfect. Make it look like, Do you hey. Think people can oversell in photos though too? Oh, sure. Okay. But the idea is, right, you should be almost overselling in photos because Everybody is starting their search online. That's yeah. the first impression. So once you someone sees it online, you want them to go, hey, I want to go see that house. Yeah. Not like, well, that looks like my kitchen. What do I want to go see that for? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, what I can never get over is rooms look so much bigger in photographs yeah. because of the angle the or fish something. The fisheye lenses yes, and stuff. They're so yeah. much bigger than they are in person. Um, don't be inflexible. If you're being inflexible, Number you're four. gonna have trouble selling it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure that you're flexible about getting people in to see the house. You're when flexible you when you close. Um, you know, if someone's like, I really, really want that chair, unless, you know, Boy, it is so sentimental. You know, your Sell grandpa it. made it. G yeah, give him the chair. Like, <laughs> let him go. Window yeah, the window treatment. Yeah, in really, is that going to fit in your new place? Just right. let him yeah. go. No, it's so not. So don't be inflexible because um, people will stop wanting to work with you. They'll stop wanting to come see your house if they keep calling to make appointments and you keep, you know, canceling them or not being flexible. Yeah. yeah. Number five, you might not be working with the right agent. Yeah, you know what, there's a lot of great real estate agents out there and yeah. there are some that, you know, they might be a great agent but they're not 
clicking with you, yeah. you know, or your house, or maybe they don't know your particular neighborhood or your uh, house style as well. So definitely you want to do that work up front, getting to know the different realtors. Talk to people you know, talk to your loan officer um, at Equitable, and we have a lot of resources and, and we can put you in touch with a lot of realtors. Mm -hmm. That's great. And people can also talk to you about the best mortgage rates in town. Absolutely, we're the wonderful. lowest. The so lowest. The lowest. So if you're selling, you're probably buying somewhere else. Um, yeah. So yeah. definitely call us. Visit, people can come in and talk yep. with someone too. Mm -hmm. They like to talk over their options. They want to get pre-approved, which is a super huge huge important thing yes in a seller's market Must you've got to be pre yeah approved. don't even bother making an offer if you don't have a right on yeah 414-777-4411 the equitable bank.com is a website to visit for more information on buying as well as selling great information <laughs> as usual oh thanks ladies oh, thank so you good, Rachel. you're great All right.